Hello everybody, what's up? In this video, I will be comparing the RX 480 4GB with the GTX 1060 3GB now in 2021 with 15 games. Which GPU has aged better? Let's find out together. Today, we are going to compare the RX 480 4GB with the GTX 1060 3GB. Both of these cards are released back in 2016, making them 5 years old now. These GPUs are mid-ranges, both costing $199 MSRP. <laughs> when will we ever get value cards at this price again? We can only hope. Both of these GPUs are a success. In fact, the GTX 1060 is still the most used GPU according to the Steam survey, and the RX 480, more so the RX 580, the refresh, is the most used AMD GPU to this day. Both of these GPUs are fierce competitor to each other. When they were first released, the GTX 1060 3GB performance compared to the RX 480 4GB was on par or a bit better, though they were trading blows from games to games, but now in 2021? Which GPU has aged better? Let's find it out. If you want more information about each graphics card, I made a revisit video focusing on each of these graphics card. Link in the description. On the red side, we have the Sapphire RX 480 Nitro Plus OC 4GB. And representing the green side, we have the Asus Dual GTX 1060 3GB OC. Both of these GPUs will be running completely stock, no overclocks, no custom fan profiles are applied. Here are their specs. Here is the test system we'll be running these graphics cards on. Before I show the results, I want to say that the background gameplay is a completely separate gameplay. I have benchmarked a specific part of the game that is replicable, and I did it 3 times for each game so I can assure that I get reliable results. All of that out of the way, let's take a look at the results. Let's start with Valorant. The performance of both of these GPU in Valorant is pretty much similar. The RX 480 4GB averages 283 FPS and the GTX 1060 3GB 270.5. That's almost a 5% increase in favor of the RX 480. Though, the frames are really high. I deem this as a similar gaming performance. Just like the average, the 1% lows are pretty close as well. The next game is Fortnite. Just like Valorant, the performance of this GPU in this game is really close. The RX 480 4GB averages 80 FPS and the GTX 1060 3GB averages around 78 FPS. So basically, in terms of average FPS, both of these GPU delivers the same performance. Meanwhile, the GTX 1060 3GB deliver higher 1% lows, 41.2 FPS compared to the 32.3 FPS of the RX 480. That's a 28% increase in favor of the GTX 1060 3GB. GTA 5 performance for both of these GPUs are basically similar in terms of average and even 1% low FPS. The GTX 1060 3GB has a slight edge compared to the RX 480 4GB, but it's a small amount, so I'd call it a tie. With this kind of performance, GTA 5 is perfectly playable with both of these GPUs. The GTX 1060 3GB got completely dominated by the RX 480 4GB in this game. The 1% lows of the RX 480 is higher than the average FPS of the GTX 1060 3GB, even though the GTX 1060 3GB is still capable of delivering 67 FPS average, the RX 480 is able to offer 91 FPS, that's almost a 36% increase in average performance.
The RX 480 still has the edge compared to the GTX 1060. Not as bad as the results of Call of Duty though. The RX 480 averages 93 FPS while the 1060 gets 79 FPS. Both of these FPS are playable, but for games like Battlefield 5, I prefer higher FPS. In this game, the RX 480 just aged better compared to the GTX 1060. Apex Legends gaming performance slides to the side of the RX 480, but just a little bit. The performance is quite similar with both of these GPUs. Though, if you look at both of these GPUs side by side running at Apex Legends, I bet you won't notice the FPS difference, so I deem the performance in this game a tie. Forza Horizon 4 performance is a tie. Just a 2 FPS difference. Both of these GPU will offer highly playable performance. You can't go wrong with either of them. Type F in the comments for the GTX 1060GB in this game. The difference in performance in this game between the GTX 1060GB and the RX 484GB is huge. The RX 480 offers almost double, you get it? Double the performance of the GTX 1060. Average FPS of 122 compared to the 71 of the GTX 1060. I believe VRAM of the GTX 1060 is just not enough for this game. Once I get my hands on the 1060GB, we'll see if it's actually the case. Cyberpunk really brings both of these GPUs to their knees. The RX 480 still beats the GTX 1060, though it's only for FPS difference, and in game it's not that noticeable. If you want to play this game at around 60 FPS, unfortunately, both of these GPU will not be able to offer that. The average FPS of both of these GPUs in Speedgate is basically the same. The big difference is in the 1% lows. The RX 480 has 168 FPS 1% lows while the GTX 1060 has 135. That's a 24% increase, though these frames are pretty high. So if you only have 144Hz monitor, I doubt you'll notice the performance difference. The GTX 1060 hands the RX 480NL with the Rocket League, averaging around 286 FPS compared to the 223 FPS of the RX 480. That's a 28% increase, though the 1% lows is pretty similar so if you're a competitive Rocket League player, the GPU for you is the GTX 1060. The GTX 1060 gets another W, 160 FPS compared to the 145 FPS of the RX 480, though just like Rocket League, the 1% lows is the same in War Thunder. The RX 480 punches back and hard with the Overwatch. An average FPS of 164 compared to the 124 FPS on the GTX 1060. That's a 32% increase in performance. Even the 1% lows is better with 100 compared to the 75 of the 1060. So if you like playing Overwatch, the RX 480 is the card for you. Another game where the RX 480 has aged better, 63 FPS average compared to the 42 of the GTX 1060. The RX 480 gives playable performance while the GTX 1060 is struggling at maintaining above 40 FPS. The 1% lows are completely another level. Actually, the 1% lows of the RX 480 is higher than the average of the 1060. 
that's a 110% increase. So, if you had to choose between the GTX 1062GB or the 484GB, go for the 480. The RX 480 almost gets 60 FPS while the 1060 averages around 52 FPS. So in terms of the average, the RX 480 delivers slightly better performance while the 1% low of the RX 480 run away with it, 46 compared to the 33 of the GTX 1060. I took the average FPS and 1% lows of each GPU in 15 games and took the average. The RX 480 delivers 125 average FPS in all of 15 games, while the GTX 1060 averages 117 FPS. The RX 480 is 6% faster compared to the 1060, though in some games, such as Doom Eternal, the difference is a lot bigger. So make sure take a look at each games and see the games you want to play. The RX 480 is 15% faster compared to the 1060 in terms of 1% lows. After taking a look at all of that, we can finally answer which GPU has aged better. The RX 480 has noticeably aged better compared to the GTX 1060 3GB. Newer games just play better with the 480. At some games they are close, at some games the GTX 1060 wins, and at some games the 480 just dominates the 1060. So now in 2021, which GPU do I recommend between the two of these? Considering the games we looked at earlier, the clear answer is the RX 480 4GB. The 3GB of VRAM of the 1060 just punishes it a lot, while the 4GB of the RX 480 still holds on a bit. And seems like the RX 480 architecture also works better in newer games compared to the GTX 1060. Though for the future video, we will take a look at the GTX 1060 6GB and compare it to the RX 480 4GB. We'll see if more RAM will benefit the GTX 1060. Thanks for watching everybody. Thanks for all the support. Leave a like if you liked the video, subscribe to not miss upcoming tech videos, leave a comment because it helps with the algorithm. Just if you want to. If you have questions or suggestions or anything, just type it in the comments. I will reply when possible. I appreciate all of you viewers of this channel. Take care and see you next time. Arrivederci e grazie a tutti.